Tommy Robinson mm. is in court today. He's suing the police and he's also in court on the 22nd of March yeah. where the Attorney General, who's an MP, has decided he's back in court for contempt of court. Can we comment on this? I know um, it's a bit subdued to say and we don't want to be in contempt of court. What, what can you say about this? I would love to talk about this contempt of court case because I sat through the Old Bailey very short saying, which went on for about 20 minutes when the case was, everyone thought there was going to be a trial that day and we were set, ready there to there. sit there. Well, yeah, you were indeed. And uh, in, in, instead of that, we were in and out of that court in about 20 minutes, weren't we? As the result of a submission made by Tommy Robinson to the judge, who then decided that he wasn't going to deal with it. And he then put it upstairs to the Attorney General. And five months later, is back in court. Now, I've got a lot to say about this. I'd love to say, but we can't run the risk of contempt of court because we're not allowed to speak about it. Um, the point, point, Tommy's back in court on the 22nd. Uh, I think we, I don't know how long that's planned to, to uh, go on, but we can talk about it afterwards. Um, so I've got to be careful what I say. Regarding the other matter, he is taking the police to court because this goes back to an incident uh, some time ago where he and his family were ejected from a restaurant purely and simply because of who he was by the police and he's taken them to court. I understand from him that he was offered some financial compensation, but he doesn't want it. He wants an apology. And that's quite right that he should get that, because this isn't an isolated case. He is being harassed and persecuted by the authorities, um, and he is in danger of be being made a non-person, as in the old Soviet Union, where he can't function. He now can't find, get a mortgage. He finds it very difficult to rent somewhere to live. He had to get out of his own property, which he had, he bought the plot, he built the house, he was living in it, and he had to get out because of death threats, and the police said they couldn't protect him. He then moved somewhere else. He then gets other people turn up before Christmas, masked people uh, threatening him in his house. He had to get out of that house. And now he's got similar things going on where he lives. And in fact, he sent me a video last week whereby there were two men in a car outside his house. So he went outside, two white men. He went outside, asked them who they were, uh, wouldn't let them drive away, stood in front of their car. Eventually he got them to admit that they were police officers. They showed him their warrant card and they looked average type uh, chaps who you might sit, see uh, sitting in a car in the street. He looked in the back of the car and it was full of surveillance equipment. So they were outside his house surveilling him at the same time, people are turning up outside his house to threaten him. Um, his wife is, is being threatened, his family are being threatened, he's being threatened. And I believe what they're doing is working with these extreme, right, extreme left-wing organisations to provoke him into some kind of action, so that either verbal or physical, let's face it, a normal man whose wife is threatened is going to get quite angry about it and might, might actually react. So I think the police are waiting for him to do something. They can arrest him, they can put him back in prison. Where is he in danger of being murdered? Because he very nearly was killed in previous incidents in prison. The last episode where he was in prison, he was in solitary confinement for about 10 weeks, 12 weeks. You're only supposed to do two weeks, apparently, maximum. And he couldn't eat the food because they were threatening to poison yeah. him. And he had post so I believe, I'm, I'm sorry to say this because it sounds terrible, it sounds real conspiracy theory stuff, but I'm afraid it's true. I believe the state would like him in prison where he can be murdered by other inmates. They can blame it on somebody else and they've got rid of the problem. And I'm shocked to have to say that I can believe that now. But my 26 years involved in active politics now leads me that the corrupt state that we live in now is capable of anything. It's chilling. We wish Tommy well. Ezra Levant from Rebel is flying over with an independent media team, as he did last time. He'll be reporting. They will be re reporting the fact from the old Bailey. Good luck, Tommy. Yeah. Thank you, Gerard. Absolutely, yes. Thank you, Gerard. Thanks, Janice. This is Janice Atkinson reporting from inside the European Parliament.